plant-based foods are big and getting bigger. Just a few years ago, you would have been hard-pressed to find much on offer in your local supermarket. Now, those supermarket shelves, where every inch is validated against what sells and what doesn't, are full of the stuff. And that's why in this corner of West London, a fast-growing company called This, as in This Isn't Meat, is creating plant-based dishes that look, and they say taste, like chicken nuggets, bacon and sausages. So Pete and I, the two founders, we were meat lovers back in 2016 um, and we had just come from uh, running for a few years and then selling a meat-based uh, burger business, which is a restaurant business. And um, at the time, we didn't feel that there were any plant-based options that really sang to us in terms of like product quality, branding. We just didn't feel an affinity to anything. So almost a bit selfishly, um, the genesis of this was basically that we wanted products for ourselves as meat lovers. And so we went around the world trying all the best um, plant-based products, finding technologies we wanted to use. And then that's pretty much how this was born. The target audience is, to be honest, like a huge, huge swathe of the population. So we say that it's the flexitarians, which is basically those who are reducing their meat intake somewhat, uh, or at least they plan to. Um, but generally speaking, we're targeting meat lovers. So that would include you. Um, and uh, it's, it's incredibly broad. Anyone that enjoys meat products, which is 98% of the population probably. The timing couldn't have been better. Sales of this product have gone through the roof since launching less than three years ago. We've gone from zero to about 12, 13 million revenue on an annualised basis. Um, we've raised 21 million pounds for the business so far through um, VC growth fund and private angel investors oh, and crowdfunding as well. Um, and so, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a crazy growth journey since, uh, since launch. So we're in Tesco, Sainsbury's, Asda, Morrison's, Waitrose, Ocado, um, and various other um, smaller chains as well, uh, like Booth's. Um, and we're also with uh, lots of restaurant chains and catering outlets. Um, so we're in Honest Burger, we're in Prezzo, in Ask. Um, we're working with Yo Sushi. At the moment, the company uh, has 51 team members and um, that's up from about seven team members about a year ago, maybe slightly more than a year. So um, we've, we've experienced some growing pains. Um, a bit of a chaos factor has crept in as with some startups, but generally speaking, it's been an incredibly exciting journey. The company is continuing to expand its range of products at its temporary innovation center. But right now, this lab is merely a staging post to something much bigger. But we're actually building from the ground up pretty much a, a purpose-built innovation centre in West London and that's going to be a state-of-the-art facility I think actually at the leading edge of, of anything in Europe um, in the plant-based world um, and our food science team um, will be based there developing new plant-based products. This wants to grow and make money but like many purpose-driven companies it wants to do it in the right way. The culture of our company is, is, is very much kind of all-encompassing ethical, sustainable, um, and that permeates hopefully across all different touch points, including, including those with our team as well. So um, we do have our, our minimum salary commitment for the company, which is 35,000. Um, we feel that even though it's eminently possible to hire entry-level people on 18, 20,000, um, it's not a sufficient wage in London. We think it's imprudent and short-termist to underpay entry-level people. That's putting your money where your mouth is. And talking about your mouth, well, my mouth anyway, this confirmed meat eater really enjoyed the not bacon and not sausages that I tasted. Certainly the sausages would have fooled me as being the real thing. My one big question though is whether the plant-based thing is a bubble that investors are throwing too much money at. I personally think it's highly unlikely that the plant-based growth will be a bubble. Um, I think generally speaking, bubbles are underpinned by more superfluous kind of needs um, or reasons. Um, so I do think we're only scratching the surface of what this growth journey is going to look like. Um, it's actually quite, it's probably going to look quite barbaric and archaic to be sort of hanging cows up by their ankles uh, for lunch in, in, in sort of like 20, 30 years time. So some, some form of protein that satisfies people and gives them enjoyment is going to need to come in its place. And obviously we hope that, that we're aiding in that sort of, you know, journey.